For now, let's move on to the co-main event of UFC Fight Night, Cater versus Allen. It went down in the welterweight division, and Max Griffin defeated Tim Means by a split decision, earning a 29-28 and 30-27 on the scorecards. Tim Means getting his own 29-28. Omar, let me start with you this time. What was your impression of the performance of Max Griffin, as well as the grittiness of Tim Means? Tim Means was Tim Means in that in that octagon, but I was really impressed with Max Griffin. I thought he actually came uh, came correct in that fight. You know, his pressure was fantastic. His striking was really good. Um, I thought his ability to control the fight I thought was was pretty solid. I was surprised a little bit with the split decision. Um, I did not have Tim Means winning by any point. I think there are a lot of moments where like I can understand it. I didn't really get this one too much. I thought Max Griffin was pretty handily in the way he he, he took care of that fight. Um, so credit to him. I, I definitely didn't think he would be able to do that to Tim Means. Um, I don't know if I've ever really been a super big Max Griffin fan. and might, That might have been the reason why. But it was a fantastic fight. I was, I was really impressed. Mark, what was your impression of Max Griffin getting it done over the veteran Tim Means? Yeah, this was a quality scrap. I mean, as you would expect from these two fighters, but Griffin looked great early, I thought. He did a fantastic job of adjusting to fight a southpaw. He was circling hard left early. Dom actually pointed it out on the broadcast, but he was consistently getting to the outside on means and landing there. Obviously, he was able to drop means in round one with a big shot, um, but to means credit, he did a great job to survive it, to get back to his feet, and on the feet, as we expected, I, I think it was the speed of Max that was a real key. He was first a lot. Tim Means kind of got stuck behind a bit in the ex- exchanges. He would try to, to corral Max and, and cut him off, but Max's footwork was on point all fight. He kept kind of escaping Means as he was trying to close it. Um, but Means is a beast, man, and we knew this. You, you can't keep that guy down. You can't keep him off you. He'll never accept defeat in there, and he was not going away. away. Um, but Max did well. He, he, like I said, he looked really good early in the striking, but then he broke his hand, we learned after the fight, which kind of makes sense why it seemed like the striking fell off a little bit midway through, but he went to the wrestling, he mixed it up, he showed the complete game, and he got himself out of there with a win. So he, he is on his way up right now for sure. He's, I would say, despite the loss in his last fight to Magny, which was a very close fight, I would say Max Griffin is absolutely in the best form of his career thus far over his last handful of, of fights here. Yeah, what's interesting is that Tim Means, at the age of 38, uh, he really seems the veteran in this matchup. Uh, yeah. But let's not, not, not forget, Max Griffin is actually 36, yeah. which is interesting because Max Griffin does feel like he is coming into his best form, like you said, and, and seems like a younger guy who's on the rise. And, he's, and he is on the rise, and he's climbing up the welterweight rankings. Uh, that being said, Omar, looking at those rankings, Max Griffin, like I said, 36-year-old. He's a California native. He improves now to 19-9 and as a pro. Uh, after Neil Magny sta- uh, snapped his three-fight win streak by edging out a split decision, uh, Griffin gets back in the win column with his own split decision, this time tilting in his favor over Tim Means. What's next for Max Griffin at welterweight? So <clears throat> I think at this point, if you're trying to promote Max Griffin, you're trying to you know use him to your advantage as a promoter, you'd want to put him in the best position to make a highlight statement because at this point, the wins he's got, you know, even the loss against Magny, like, like Mark said, there was still some quality in that performance, but he still hasn't gotten recently something to really catapult him to something better. Um, I think a fight against chaos Williams would be a fantastic opportunity. I don't think either one of those guys are going to let it to go, go to decision. I say that wholeheartedly knowing that Chaos Williams has had a couple decisions in his last few fights. But that fight just seems tailor-made for violence and somebody to get a knockout. And if uh, Griffin's able to do it, wow. I think that could move him pretty pretty heavily up the, up the ladder. Mark, my we exact disagree. Fight. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Literally my that. exact fight. I, I thought Omar was setting up something else when he was talking in the beginning. And then, uh, yeah, surprised me. But yeah, I think they're at really similar points. I think they're both dangerous, but are two different styles of, of dangerous in terms of their striking. And, and I think that that'd be a fun one. And I think that they're a good test for each other. So yeah, I think that's a great, great match. Yeah. That's sick, man. I love it. I love it when we agree on this show. It's so nice. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. How old is Chaos Williams? He's 28. 28. So he is definitely entering his athletic prime. Much younger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's move on. Uh, recapping. Can I match up means real fast? Oh, yes. On? Oh, sure. Um, I will go with old guy versus old guy for Tim Means. Uh, I think him and Francisco Trinaldo in a, in a oh, shit. battle of veterans coming off losses could Smart. could be a, a worthwhile scrap. Very nice. Any you other names? Um, no, I hadn't really thought about anything for Tim Means. What about know. what about Robbie? Lawler? Yeah. Mm. I mean that's that's kind of old guy versus old guy. Both so I thought levels. about it, but then I remembered I was like, wait, isn't Robbie booked? And he's he playing is. Santiago Ponzinibbio. Like he got another oh, kind of big right. opportunity. Which yeah. I almost forgot about. If he Good loses to Pons, then we probably I think get into the Tim Means type of fights. Okay. But yeah, they they kind of put him in a big one again. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's gonna be a great fight. I like the Trinaldo yeah. one though. It's a good fight. Yeah, man. Yeah, I would oh. like that fight. You know, if they, they're, they're we're gonna do one other one just for the sake of doing another one, a Matt yeah. Brown fight. Did they fight before? Hard. Have they tired? fought? That'd be a great. I feel like they must have, right? That's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Is they must have fought at this point? I kind of feel like Matt point. Brown beat him. I feel like oh, fight. 2015, dude. They did. Oh, we could do that again. Yeah, yeah run it back. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run we could do that again. I thought Matt Brown retired. No, he's still happy. He's still there. He's still in the rankings. He still is? Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. How did he beat him? Guillotine. First round. A guillotine. Oh, wow. Oh, Matt Brown's so good. 2015, though? What is that? Seven years oh, yeah. ago? We could do that again. Lifetime. Sure. I guess eight eight Lifetime. years by the time we get to that point. Yeah, for sure. For sure. 